Oh, yeah. that's fine. That's make... part of the fun. I... All right. Oh. Let me know when you want to start. This is my stick. Smarty pants, you got the red light on already. This oh. is my stick. It's, it's I, everybody's got their own thing. Well, 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 wait a minute. Hello, everybody. I'm coming. Oh, my golly, and we're welcome on. Welcome to Sunday. Sunday. I don't know who that masked man is. <clears throat> he is? Hi, Lance. Look at Lance has got no, the I new think mask. That's, I think it's one of the Beatles. Yes. It is. And he's got the I Am God's Masterpiece mask on. Yes, we've got those. They're now $25.99 on eBay or free if you let me know. Wow. <laughs> awesome. This is too high. So buy them on eBay. So welcome everybody to another sterling rendition of Sunday School um, through Woodside Bible Church and Special Needs Ministry. I am Greg. There's Kat walking around. Hello. And there's John and Linda. Everybody but me is fresh back from a wonderful relaxing vacation. And so it's good to be back. So here's what's coming up. First of all, how was that will it float on Friday? Mm. Wow. Awesome. Very nice. Very that nice. Very wet. Very wet. The, could be the best thing the internet has ever seen. <laughs> ever. So wow. what was your favorite part, Linda? When you tried to float the cottage cheese, Greg. No, my, you know what my favorite part is, Greg? Yes. When you threw yourself in to see yes. if Greg would float. Well, yes. That was, I, was I, I'm, I watched that on Rewind all the time. I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm just watching that and watching it and watching it. Over and over again. Over and over again. There's, there's kind of a story to that. When I would do that at Johnny and Friends, we would put any gross thing in the fish tank, Linda Masterson's fish tank. Like like a cheese like a a big cheese whiz thing like a cheese log out of the package and we took a a, a spam and we took a, a bag of flour and by the end of the week that fish tank was the grossest thing you've ever seen in your life. It was disgusting. But I couldn't do that in the pool because you know why? Be, because I have a Mrs. Greg, and I want to keep having a Mrs. Greg, so I couldn't. I couldn't do all the gross stuff I really wanted to do, but I'm sure everybody will be talking about will it float for uh, generations. Yeah, generations. But here's what we do have coming up. Now, looky here, August 29th, uh, uh, next Saturday, is Party in the Parking Lot. And you do have to RSVP because we only have 30 spaces, and we have less than 10. We probably have about seven or eight spots open right now. So. If you want to get in, either email or message, uh, because the parking lot's only so big and we're distancing and all that stuff. Um, and then it's going to be September, by golly, already. And Our parking lot at Woodside is only so big? Well, really? over, by the, it... over by the gym. Oh, okay. Over so we're going to be over by the gym. There's actually like 60 spots, but since we're doing every other, so we really just have 30. So um but we've been putting that out in emails for a few weeks so people people should know um and we got a, a real good wide range of people i just got a message today from lillian out of nowhere she's coming so she'll be there and uh zeke signed up and um lindsey and casey will be there so it'll be good to see everybody so that's coming up saturday um and then in September, we're kicking back up with Tuesday night Bible studies, 2-4 hangout. Uh, we have a couple of events that I have to finalize yet. Um, and we're looking to do one late September or October in person, another one. Um, you guys don't even know that yet. I'll tell you after we hit record or we stop record. And there's Lance right there. And, um, and that's what we have. So, uh, we're, uh, so um, oh, I know what I forgot. John and Linda are doing live prayer today. So 
you know, as, as exciting as it is to pay attention to us, type in a prayer request as we go. And even if you're watching this during the week and it's recorded, um, please add it there so we can pray for y'all. Um, and, uh, and we, cause we look back, I, I, we come back to look to see if anybody's added anything and we want to make sure we pray for y'all. So now do we open in prayer? Do we? We do. Usually. Usually yeah. we do. All right. Heidi, who's opening? I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Right. Dear Heavenly Father, just uh, bless this time. Bless everyone who's watching this and our entire class and their families and their caregivers. And we just uh, pray that it brings honor and glory to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, let me get the words here. When, and, and you guys should know that when Kat isn't corresponding with the president, she is worshiping and singing praises to the Lord. There you go. So we're very excited to have Kat lead us again in a couple of songs. Thank you, Kat, very much. And we'll take it from there. Take it from there. Okay, well, everybody, it's good to see you. Well, I wish I could see you, but um, it's good to be seen. How about that? So we're going to worship, and we're going to do a couple of our songs off the hit parade. So we're going to start first with Every Move I Make, because I know you guys love that one. So you can always stand up and wiggle and move, okay? I can't because I'm playing the piano. joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. And remember that we are the work of God's hands. And so let's always sing for joy for that because God loves that and God is so happy he made us and God loves listening to our worship. So let's sing to him.
Thank you, Kev. That was awesome. That was awesome. We, I think we should make a distinction, though. It, it is shout, um, shout to the Lord, not shout at the Lord. So ah. just in case anybody shout is like you, that's a whole different problem, shouting at the Lord. Okay. So appreciate you, your gift and your willingness, Kat. That's awesome. You know what I wish we could do if we had our class all together, I would be asking everybody, how has God been your comfort this week? And how has he been your shelter? And how has he been your refuge of strength? You know, those, those would be fun things to know right now because just because, because every week, every day, we need him to be all of those things for us. And so I would wonder what he's doing in everybody's life. Sounds like a good two-minute timeout. It does. We'll have to talk to someone about that. <laughs> but you know what? And, and, and I tell you, that I, well, I like that because one of the things that was early on that was an event that people liked that they wanted to do again was uh, a show-and-tell night where we just had people bring something that's been important to them and then explain it. Maybe we can kind of combine that idea with the show-and-tell. Oh, wow. Just a thought. That would be good. I think that would be good. I enjoyed show and tell. That was fun. Yeah, I, and I think we did that, I think, in May, May or June. So I think we're going to do that in September. I think we'll do that in September again. Just uh, it's, it's, Or even, Greg, we could ask what their favorite verses have been during this time. Mm. So maybe they've got a something that they want to show us, but then maybe they want to tell us their verse. So a yeah. show to tell and tell us why that um, verse is really important to them because that would be cool yeah a show and yeah a, 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 a kind of a show and tell in a different way yeah. show us and then tell us you know yeah that'd be fun yeah really good I like really it. good so uh so let me get to the bible verse who's reading the bible verse did we decide linda all right it's a big one are we ready? I am. We yes. Are. You are. Bible verse. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Mark 16, 15. Very good. Bible verse. Bible verse. Go into all the world. Go, go into, into all, all the world. world. And preach the gospel. And preach the gospel. Mark sixteen fifteen. Mark sixteen fifteen. So you know it was um, Sarah Ruffner's birthday yesterday. Oh wow! So whenever it's somebody's birthday, I try to call them. This has nothing to do with preaching the gospel, by the way. And <laughs> you know how we take a guess? I always say a hundred. So. <laughs> What'd she say? It was just kind of like a long pause, like I'm some kind of idiot or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so then I keep it up. So I said, you know, 125, you know, and then another long pause, like I'm even more of an idiot. So I, I kind of got the picture she was getting tired of that stick. So, so I took a real it get, guess. It does get old. Yeah, I get took a real away. guess. So I guess it's different in person, you know. Oh yeah, it's everything's different in person, Greg. I does, I does. Yeah. We try. Well, you yeah. Know. Yeah. What can we do? No, it's worth it. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> so, good story Ready. today. A Ready really for the story. story. The story is about Jonah. We're gonna need Jonah. What about Kevin? Is Kevin up for it? He's ready. It's a, it's a big part. Who did? Oh, you know what? We should have sung, sang, what? sang. Singing? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did swallow? Don't, 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 do Who did? Oh. Who did? Who did? Who did swallow? Don't, 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 do I guess we just did. did. You just did. You just did. Yeah. Who did swallow? Don't, dum, 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 dum. Very good, Cat Boy. You can see why you're getting letters from the White House now. Okay, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need God in this one, Greg. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. We're gonna need a captain. I'll be the captain. And the king queen of Nineveh. And I'll also be the queen of Nineveh. Okay. Well, I think we're doing pretty good here. So we're gonna have to. Uh, okay, it's the name of this uh, skit is called Jonah. Hopefully, we have a fish. I hope we do. I hope we have a fish somewhere. I do. A big fish. Kevin would like to do yeah, action. Yeah, who wants to do action? I'll do action. Oh. Oh, you're going to do action. All right, Kevin's going to get ready. Okay, you guys ready? Set. Yeah. Action. Wow. That was excellent. Very good. Thank you. Very good. All right. Jonah, played by Kevin, was a prophet. Jonah worked for God. Wee! It's a big job. All right, Jonah. God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh. I see sinful people in Nineveh. Go to the city, preach to the people, tell them they are in trouble because of their sin. Jonah. Mm. Uh oh. We lost, we lost the narrator. Shall I just continue? Are we not? Are we not? Oh, there, they're kind of back. Kind of back. Are you in there, John? What should we do, Greg? This is Let me correct. Go. It's to Wi Fi, to the one you call the bars. One second. Okay. They're coming. Are they coming back? We are having yeah. technical difficulties. They froze with John looking very stern. Yes. Almost I'm, angry. Almost. So I want him to unfreeze because I'm starting to, to get scared. And I don't want so it it, it it wasn't you or me. At least I don't think. I don't think so, because we're still moving. So at least we think we are. Let's recap things for the people. So Kat got a letter from President Trump. <laughs> and um and Jonah worked for God and Jonah, oops, we lost carvers. Yeah, they're gonna probably sign back in. Hey, this is what we get for kind of live TV is that people, people find out it you know things are tough. I mean things are are really tough, but I do like your idea about kind of sharing either a verse or something that en en encouraged people during this time, as well as a something, maybe something from a God something. too. Yeah. Yep, I like it. I do like that. That's all right. Should we give him, or should we continue on? It took him a while to get back to us the last time. They did. Um, why don't you try that Jonah song that you wanted to sing? Do you need the piano for that? I have to think. Okay. No, I can't. I can't even. Those like, okay, you guys. So we're going to do the Jonah song. I learned this when I was in vacation Bible school. That was a million years ago. Um, so I think. Okay. So like you come. You could be like the who did echoes. So I go, who did, who did. Well, you just sing with me. So okay. that's who did question. Not okay. like who did. What's a who did? Okay, so here we go. Who did? Who, who did, did? Who did? Who, who did, did? Who did swap? Joe, 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 Joe. Who did? Who, who did? Who did? Who did? Who did swap? Joe, 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 Joe. Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Swallow Joe, 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 Joe. Who did swallow Jonah? Down, 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 down. Oh, no. Nice. Whale, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Joe, 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 I'm Joe. So <laughs> this is a hit parade song. Whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Joe, 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 Joe. Joe, 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 Joe. Joe. Whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, 
swallow Joe, 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 oh, Joe. Oh. Well, did swallow Jonah. Down, 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 down. All right. I'm sure that was to everyone. <laughs> no. Let's pick up the story. <laughs> Should we get back to our story, Greg? Yeah. How about we pick it up? Um, all right. Why at how about if i just say all the things that would have been in the narration and jonah will just say them yeah we could we could i could even we were at the part but jonah did not want to go to nineveh so you want me to start there yeah okay hey i don't want to go to nineveh jonah did not like the people I of do not like oh. i do not I do not like people. Keep going, then, Greg. Okay, he did okay, not want. Okay, really, to... I feel like I'm. He did not want we to need preach. To start this over. <laughs> this is awesome. I don't want to preach to them. I don't want to preach. Hey, Greg, you're messing up too. Am I? So. So Jonah tried to run away. Yeah. Is that right? There goes Kevin. There goes Jonah running away. <laughs> Pretty soon this just might be the cat. Hey, now what happens? Okay. And I uh, know. It might be. We might be all be gone. I know. It'll be Cat and Kevin. He did not want to preach to them, so Jonah ran away from God. And he got on a ship. He got on a ship for a three-hour tour. Oh, no, that's another story. And sailed out to sea. So, but God knew where Jonah was. God knew where Jonah was, and God sent I love me. Being out. So, um, God sent. God sent a big. Oh. oh, here comes John and Linda. Breaking up is so hard to do. What a great story! We're not done. Oh my golly, that Jonah! What happened? I, I'm really dying to find out. A song in the middle. We. We, we stalled, started and I sang the joke. Oh, we so danced. We, at? we danced at and told jokes. You did not. <laughs> and and we we did a like a Sunny and Cher stick. Uh, no, um, we're just at Jonah got on the ship and a big storm came. God sent a big storm. Did the captain already yell? Captain has not yelled yet. No. Nope. Wake up! Pray for help. Our ship is in danger. Jonah knew he was trying to run from God. You're going to have to run a lot faster than that to run from God. He knew the storm was his fault. Oh, the storm is my fault. It's he said to the fault. captain, Throw me into the sea! Then the sea will be quiet. I am to blame for this storm. The sailors threw Jonah into the sea. Wash! Does he float? That's always a good question. Will it float? We should have used them this the, past Friday. The sea <laughs> became quiet. The storm was over. Then God sent a big fish to swallow Jonah. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. <laughs> Jonah prayed to God while he was inside the fish. Get me out of the fish. He thanked God for saving his life. Thank you for saving my life. He asked God to forgive him for running away. Oh, God, please forgive me for running and swimming away. Jonah realized God loved everyone, even the people of Nineveh. 
Oh, I guess you do love everyone, God, just like you say. He told God he would go to Nineveh and preach to the people. I will go now, I promise, and I will preach to all the people, even if I don't really like them. After three days, the fish spit Jonah out onto dry ground. Oh, I want to see this. <laughs> nice. My Jonah obeyed God and went to the city of Ed, Nineveh. Ed, wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to the city. Jonah preached to the people. Preach, he preach. told them they were in trouble with God because of their sin. You're in big trouble, I tell you, you buckos. You're in trouble because of your sin. The king of ah. Nineveh heard Jonah's preaching. Stop doing wrong, the king said. Pray to God. Stop hurting others. Stop doing evil and maybe God will forgive us. God saw how the people stopped sinning. God forgave the people and did not bring trouble to them. The end. Woo. Wow. I didn't that think we'd ever get through that one. What a story. But it makes you wonder, Yeah. what does it mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, if you, if you think back to uh, our Bible verse, what was it now? What do you guys remember about that? I don't know. That was before the Wi-Fi went out. We got horribly distracted. God went into all, got, go into all the world and preach the gospel. And, go. and Jonah preached the gospel. Yeah. I see the connection here. Oh, there's yeah. connection. oh, there's a connection between the Bible verse and the skit. Yep. That's Sometimes that comes in handy. So Jonah was commanded by God, just like we all are, go and preach the gospel. But this particular story... Jonah didn't want to. Or, you know, who knows? Because the rude. people were evil. Didn't, didn't like the people. Didn't feel like it was too hot that day. Something. Didn't like the food. Bad food. Bad food. Didn't like the country. Didn't like the country. Of Nineveh. But at the end of all things, after being in the belly of a whale for three days, he came out and he ended up preaching the good news. The gospel. So what is the gospel? It is the good news that Jesus came to forgive everyone their sins, even the people in Nineveh, who were evil, so that they could turn from their sin to do good with Jesus, and they could walk with him and talk with him and have a relationship with their creator, their maker, and one day live in heaven. All those people in Nineveh are in heaven now, looking down on us, probably through Zoom of some description, <laughs> probably with a better computer hookup, <laughs> watching us tell a story about each one of them, how they turned from doing evil to turn to doing good, all because Jonah obey God just like each one of us should obey God in this regard and I think our class does a pretty good job of that actually at least we so, thought so last February or March when we saw them last well yeah. I know that our, our our class I mean Greg I don't know how I mean our class started out pretty small but the only reason why it grew because people invited other people to the class to hear the good news that Jesus will forgive your sin no matter what you've done. Yep. Wash it. Wash it away. Remove it from your life so you can live for him. And we started out with a handful of people, and they told a handful of people, and they were practicing what this verse is all about, which is the same thing Jonah did. Preach the gospel. Just by pulling people into the class, inviting them to church, maybe you have a friend, just befriending them, being their good neighbor, and then, oh, you know what? Why don't you come to this Bible study on Tuesday, or why don't you come to our Sunday school class on Sunday? Why don't you come to 2-4 Hangout with me? It'll be fun. 
and of course, we try to have fun, but it's also about yep. telling everybody about the good news. And that's I, what I, I mean. do want to add something. Go ahead. That how Jonah didn't want to go because the people were evil. We all did evil things before we accepted mm -hmm. Jesus. And mm -hmm. sometimes we still make mistakes even now that we have accepted Jesus. And God loves us even though we make mistakes, even the ones we do on purpose. And I think um, we need to remember that all people need Jesus to help them make good choices. That's right. And you and know what? And, Jesus anytime. and somebody <laughs> told us, you know, and oh. so... No, I, that's a good point, Linda. And um, I thought of two things in there. I thought the same thing. I thought um, that uh, even people we don't like need to hear the gospel. And, um, and the fact that he first disobeyed God, um, God still used him once he understood what he did was wrong. So even if we think we're not capable of being used by God, we are. And um, we just have to allow him. But, and you're right, John, our, our class has grown because the Lord wants it to and because people have told their friends. And I was just mentioning today to somebody that we've had over, there's been over 55 of our people be baptized so far in our ministry. Oh my goodness. And that's, that's, a lot of times people bringing their friends and um uh but no that's a real good story for a lot of reasons i think what do you think kat i think so too i agree so does kevin he was he was proud to play jonah he did a great job sounds like somebody's brownies are done i just heard a little ping since I have a Mac computer, so when my iPhone bings at me, oh. it bings on my phone. Oh, okay. I was hoping yeah. it'd be brownies yeah. or something. So, so everybody, no. remember, we're doing prayer requests on FaceTime and Facebook Live, huh? Yeah. I was hoping for brownies, too. No brownies. But yeah. you know what? And I know this might be off topic, but it wouldn't be the first off topic thing we brought up today. But Hudsonville ice cream has a brownie, chocolate chip cookie dough brownie flavor now. Oh, wow. Did you buy it? I sure did. Oh, good job. <gasps> awesome. We'll be a Party in the parking lot. I'll have some in a couple minutes, guys. Okay. There you go. It's your birthday. Okay. Yeah, don't tell Eric. No, no. Well, good deal. Well, say goodbye to everybody. That was a, another top-notch well, lesson. We're not saying goodbye. We're saying see you on Facebook Live, everybody. So switch right over. In just right a minute. Over. In just one minute. Later, drop your prayer We're not saying goodbye. We're not even saying see you later. We're saying see you right now when you switch over to Facebook Live. And make Beautiful. sure make sure John and Linda have the same clothes on because it is live, after all, and so are we. That's right. Okay, bye. See you in a minute. Bye.